Hi, it's me, Julie, with your uh, weekly angel message. I'm guided to uh, just upload from my car in between readings. I'm having a super great but busy week, so I haven't had time to film in my usual fashion. So thanks for your understanding. I want to talk about um, a really powerful message that came through one of my sessions today, and that is around um, the difference between soulmates and life partners. Uh, we were talking about how, uh, you know, she had met this really great guy and then he had died and wondered if he was her soulmate. And I said, of course he's your soulmate because he left. <laughs> and that's sort of a thing about soulmates is that they're people that come into our lives for a reason to help us realize certain things about ourselves or about life even. And then they do leave. So we don't often marry our soulmates. And if we do, it's not it's not usually forever and I have a lot of women clients who say to me oh you know Julie I just don't have that same connection with my husband that I did with so-and-so I met three years ago and and I'm saying that's because your husband is your life partner <laughs> and and so you'll have that ability to connect with your husband your life partner to be able to meet their needs and sort of understand intrinsically what they need and who they are um, because you're meant to be married to them and you might feel the connection but not quite the same as a soulmate. So I felt like that was really important for you to know. And um, Archangel Michael is also stepping forward and he wants me to turn off Drake. No, that, that was me. <laughs> uh, he wants me to talk to you today about not being so hard on yourself. Being hard on yourself is really a product of the ego and not of our higher selves. Um, you know, the soul part of you is doing the best that you can and it is good enough for him or her your soul although it's probably not masculine or feminine I said that so you could identify that between the two um, everything that you're doing right now you're doing to the best of your ability with the knowledge that you have now so so long as you're doing the best that you can you're where you're supposed to be right now the lessons and everything um, that you're learning are all in divine order. So there's no need to rush or beat yourself up over past things or project yourself into the future even and try to calculate everything. We're not in control really ever. The only thing we can do is show up in every moment and do the best that we can. So that's a message for everyone. I'm sending you so much love. And yes, those are sparkles on my face. <laughs> I felt like putting them on today. Um, the other message that wants to come through for you is uh, from Archangel Gabriel, who's saying it's really important for you to communicate everything that you're feeling right now. Um, there's someone watching right now who's kind of holding in their feelings, and they made me feel a little bit constricted in the chest, where I felt like I didn't feel like I could say anything. And I don't mean sharing complaints or negative things, but there's certainly a sense where I feel like I hold in and I don't say everything I want to say. So I hope you know that Gabriel is a beautiful angel that can support you with that. She loves you, helps you with communication, even help you with throat chakra issues, with that color blue, right? If you imagine like blue, like my nail polish around your throat chakra is a very soothing and a cooling energy. Know that the angels do support you to speak your truth with, truth with love. I'm getting another message from the Archangel Raphael. There's a theme around pets today and uh, people worried about their pets and, and healing in general. A couple people have some health challenges that they're overcoming. Know that Raphael can help and uh, support you with that, but only if you call upon him. There's also some messages coming through around pets that we don't want to hear in terms of their time being up um, and us not wanting to let go. Uh, that's not me personally, but I, I am hearing that um, as sort of a universal message to share today. That the time is up and it's time to let go. Um, it would be a better place for them to be in heaven. So also those of you who have recently lost pets, this is a message for you. If you're really missing your pet and your pet was ill for a little while, please know that they're in heaven resting and they are watching over you, sending you so much love and forgiveness for what you think that you haven't done. Uh, I am hearing a lot of you carry a lot of guilt from the past of, oh, I, I should have seen the signs better, or I should have done this, or I shoulda, coulda, woulda. 
know that you did everything that you can and that you could at the time again back to that message if you did what you could the best that you that you could and know that it was enough but more importantly know that you are enough so i'm sending you so much love and i trust that those messages will help you god bless